hi hello there this is a tarot card reading for the sign of cancer sun moon rising and venus sign we're gonna get some messages for what's most prominent in your energy cancerian remember to breathe and take it easy while focusing on these messages coming out for you gonna see what's coming up in your energy so really breathe and focus on what you want to see what you want to create okay so as I lay the deck here focus upon this deck of cards your most prominent emotions and feelings where you're, you're feeling stuck energy frustration or clarity whatever it is that you're looking for answers for and I want to take this time to say thank you for being here thank you for coming out thank you for being present in my reading and I hope that you get messages that help you to go forward to find clarity, peace of mind. So here's the deck. Let me get some more light. Excuse me. Let me give you all some more light. Oh. I think that is a little bit better. So while you're focusing, I'm going to Take my beautiful stones here. Transparent messages. Messages for cancer going forward. Please provide me with the most accurate and the loving messages for the outcome of Cancerian's life so that Cancerians will have a clear directive on where to be, where to go, what to be most present in. Thank you. Ooh, all right. I see love. So Cancerians, you might be leading with love might be leading with something that you're passionate about but maybe needing to embrace your water divinity a little bit more i feel in order to strengthen your sense of value ground in because hmm, i feel like you're you're being you're, you're putting in a lot of work so there's earth sign here but maybe you're not really using your intuition to get through this this phase a lot so there's an emphasis on being on being loving loving yourself loving others and also grounding knowing who you are and this will help you to come into contact with your true highest sense of value and self-worth you might have someone around you that's reminding you of your true nature and someone that might be kind of blocking your your connection with your true self an earth sign maybe feels like standing in the way of you connecting or remembering or embracing the, your truth as a cancerian as if your heart might be hardened a little bit you might be overthinking so let us see what's coming up for you So stay tuned, listen for your messages coming up right now. First card. I tried to get these even and straight. <laughs> All right, first card for Cancer. And so we have the Eight of Swords up here. Maybe you're in a situation where you feel trapped, Cancerian. Do you feel trapped? Do you feel like you're living your best life? No. Is there new are there new desires popping up in your life new ideas new things you want to do maybe you want to travel more you feel 
talk you need movement it could be because we're in the pandemic and everyone is at home but it could be emotionally you feel bound to you know, like a new identity as if you've been turned into something that's not true to you hardened your shell maybe not letting anything in but I also feel like you're you're not getting a taste of a life that you'll enjoy living a sense of yourself so even though you're bound and you feel trapped you feel insecure maybe not confident enough to take off I feel like there's something coming in it could be a person or a situation that is here to remind you of who you are and what your soul mission is something that is reminding you to connect with your soul I feel like you're feeling that energy now so you may have got comfortable like stuck in your comfort zone cancerian but there's a there's maybe it's something that you love to do a creative essence something coming out of you that it just makes you feel like moving it makes you feel like giving more creating flowing moving with the flow so we'll see what happens so you might be go looking for answers re-evaluating your sense of self-worth and values so that you can come out on top so like while you're in this time of feeling trapped and not being able to produce maybe you're feeling barren because of certain past traumas there is in this time I feel you're a bit in hermit mode where you're going inside of yourself to you know communicate or connect with a higher sense of yourself like is this what I really want am I in the right place I feel like you're asking yourself these questions is this what my life has led up to do I want more what more can I experience out of this life there's a taste in your mouth for something new and that is beautiful it's causing you to go inside to really um connect to conversate, to communicate, to consult with. It's pulling you in to come in to have this conversation about your sense of value, what you're getting out of the situation. What you're getting out of the situation, how you can leave the situation and feel better. Maybe you feel fear about moving. You feel fear about taking action. So you want to know how can I get the best out of this situation for myself and others before you move you're looking for reassurance that feeling of steadiness and groundedness in you so that you can move off because i feel like you are ready for to do whatever it takes to become better but you want to feel more secure first and that is it with cancerians cancerians love their feelings of security especially in home so this may have something to do with your living situation where maybe you're not producing well because you're not secure, you're not feeling safe where you're residing at this time. And so you're going in to figure out what is keeping me stuck here? Why am I not, not moving on if this is not serving me? How can I move on? How can I pick up the pieces and carry on and have faith that it will I feel like you even you are aware that it will turn out for the best for you but there's still something unclear that is keeping you from moving I'm going to explore what that is hmm wow the knight of cups wow it feels like you're getting a blessing your thirst someone is coming in to quench your thirst so maybe I feel like it's amazing like you you went and met up with your spirit guides or your leaders your internal mentors and asked what is it that I need to do to really carry on and they have put together some type of a potion <laughs> to take to you for you to drink maybe to open your eyes to be able to or is it some kind of a some energy they're taking to you to show you how to transmute energies to turn your burdens into light to make your situation the better so you can really pick up and move on so someone is coming into you 
so you did i feel like you did go and ask for help you know internally could be praying you asked for help and it is coming and it is coming maybe in a wave of emotion something new a new sense of self-worth i feel like it has something to do with emotions you could be seeing a cancerian coming into you a fellow water sign pisces or scorpio just coming into you at your aid like coming at your aid for your help so be open to receiving that i want to say just look out for that on the wind in your surrounding look out for these answers don't be too clingy but just be open to receiving because i know when when we're in a situation where we feel trapped we're very suspicious about what's coming or um, coming into our lives but there's something brand new coming into you someone is taking you a gift i feel it will cleanse your heart it will just wash off your heart maybe drink some coconut water drink smoothies Whatever you can do to find a, self, a, a sense of control over your life as if you are the one coming to your own rescue, Cancerian. So take the bull by the horns, you know, get up, start exercising, working out, eating well. I feel like it has to do with hydration, smoothies, remedies, tonics, um, energy healing water just you taking care of yourself expressing yourself well I feel like giving love to your family is very important at this time as well so just a lot of love and and what can you get out of this situation if you went through like a heartbreak situation that's keeping you stuck and bound even in a negative attachment to the same person that hurt you maybe you're not ready to let go you feel like you have unfinished business and that's why you're not moving on. There is something coming into you that's going to enable you to see this from a different perspective. To see your light, your purity, your heart, the rest of your life ahead of you. What you have to offer to this world. To show you that you're not alone, you have friends, you, your life is valuable and worthwhile. And you have, you have what it takes in magical gifts even. To really transcend ascend out of the situation so look out for something coming into you so the second stack here we have the ten of wands representing struggle possibly an end to struggle picking up one's burden and taking them instead of being burdened by them actually lifting them taking them using them as tools Turning the pain into profit. Just deciding to get ready to move ahead. As if you have the strength that it takes. You have the willpower. Even though sometimes you, don't, you might not feel like you have the willpower necessary to move on. You do have what it takes. Maybe exercise more so you feel that power in your body being ready to move on. Growing your self-confidence. So I feel like exercise will be good for you. Anything that increases your heart rate. Work on your, your leg strength, your lower body strength, your back strength, your arm, your focus also. Meditate. I feel like going tapping into that realm of where everything rests, where you can find the answers. So don't run from the pain. You know, sometimes to get out of something, we need to quit struggling in it. And uh, look around to see how we can make use of these painful burdensome situations and take them and we're going to move them out or we're going to transform them into something that can serve us so let us see two of swords so I'm not reading with res reversals so I'm taking this upright hmm groundedness stability knowing where to put your foot where to put your foot to go guided by a higher sense so you're going inside and you're you're working with your your water your emotions maybe you're working with the moonlight as well to help you to figure out what's going on intuitively working with your intuition so there's a new sense of intuition because you're going internally as mentioned over here it's aligning with you with your 
intuition trust building your trust in self instead of depending wholly on another person to show you trust i feel like you're going internally learning how to trust now being able to cut out of your life what serves you not to build yourself build yourself back i feel like you're building yourself back maybe from scratch from the beginning you're rewriting your story aligning with your sense of value taking what you have learned from the situation and actually strengthening your heart space setting boundaries and standards elevating yourself increasing your flow being forceful being intentional deliberate about the steps that you're taking i think that's how you're going forward being deliberate and that's beautiful it's like you're maturing into a phase where you're ready for a brand new life so you're deliberately intending your life forward you have aligned so you're moving out the old and being firm to welcome in the new wow the six of cups to welcome in the new beautiful transformations I feel like you're clearing out what all that you have been taught about love as if you realize that everything that you have been taught about love like this is how someone shows you that they love you um, every every just little idea that has been embedded in you about what love is this feels like you moving them out like pushing them out like uh, just get you don't want to deal with this energy of what you thought love is and they're welcoming the truth of love and the truth of love is coming because you're learning to love yourself and that is very important you're learning how to stand up for yourself to think high value highly valuable thoughts of yourself knowing what you deserve the truth of love loving yourself so much that you do not accept less from anyone else ever so it starts within it's the six of love and so it is a balanced love that you feel internally and it is reflecting now externally on you so you did the work for this love of yourself you did the work for the love that you will be attracting in your life onward it is yours this is not a love that someone can take from you or give to you this is yours forever to carry with you in every other experience that you have in life to grow from in a relationship this love is going out celebrating being just in love with one another doing things that couples do eating dinner laughing watching a movie supporting each other's dreams th being thoughtful about one another um feeling giggly one just want to call each other it is like you're in that first several months of dating so maybe there's new love coming into you it's uh, it is as if as soon as you move out the old the new comes in right behind that all right with it so you're ready to receive to welcome in a brand new kind of love that is befitting to you well deserved well well deserved so you may be going out on a date soon someone might be calling you I did say you're getting some something is coming into you and then it led up to you receiving something over here something is coming oh my god there's something coming so there's something coming into you so you're internally analyzing you're going through your introspection you're setting up your boundaries and this is causing more profound love to come into you amazing at the top of this deck here we have the ten of cups can I this is an amazing card all right so we went from the six of cups to the ten of cups energy you're moving up you're moving up and out you are receiving the best love you're putting yourself in that vibration where you're no longer taking less you're expecting the best and so you're receiving that wholesomeness 
if you've been dreaming of a family you could have a family right now you could be with an earth sign a water sign is highly possible in your chart here as well um, you guys may have a family already so this is this is a wonderful love energy between you two beautiful you guys are entrepreneurs you guys work together well like you could be married to this person or might be getting married to this person so you guys work together really really well to run your home your businesses to take care of the children things are going smoothly and you guys do have plenty of love for one another it's as if you guys still feel like you're dating each other sometimes that's the energy between both of you amazing this person loves you they love being by your side they're happy to be with you they feel strong with you like they feel strong that you're by them their side as if you're leading with them but maybe even helping them to be grounded cancerian they love you you love this person you adore this person <laughs> Papa, what's that? Papa, big papa, what's that? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Would you look at that? This is the sun. Everything. I kept mentioning that childlike love that you guys have, like that fresh new springtime, glorious energy kind of love that you guys are sharing. This is everything coming into you. This is the sun sun the light is shining on you you're favored you're being blessed it's it's time for you cancer and i wonder if you know that it is your time and i want you to believe in it believe that you're out of this phase of feeling trapped and that you're actually know your knowing your worth right now believe that now you are being stronger look around to see the changes that you've made in your life to really align if you're not yet aligned with this beautiful sun energy it is your time cancerian sun signs especially it's your time to shine to come out to be full of yourself be full of your emotions express yourself well ask for what you want intend on the type of family the type of money the type of home life the type of friends that you want Intent on how you want your spiritual life to be. Look at the importance of your spiritual life and what role it plays in your life. Give thanks. You have so much to be thankful for. A true blessing. Amazing. So things are getting better. A lot better. The sun is out. Okay. The strength. Hmm. Sh brightly that's the first thing I felt the Sun is shining brightly up on you upon your land upon your family upon everyone that you love the Sun is shining brightly upon them I feel like your entire life is blessed 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 allow yourself to see that allow yourself to see that everything you went through is for a reason you're beautiful you're a leader you're a mother you could be a counselor cancerian if you've always wanted to get into a profession where you help people to heal their emotions maybe water healing i feel like you'd be well in water healing hydrotherapy water divination helping others to heal their emotions dreams i feel like you'd be i feel like you're some type of a hmm a prophet in a yes you have prophetic abilities you see you are able to foresee and maybe that's what you you need to use to foresee the life that you wish to live and watch it build and you have the most utmost blessings on your side blessings are far upon you all right, we're going to shuffle this deck. See what messages come out. Any other messages remaining in this deck? Oh my God, there's love coming into you. Strength. Something that is strengthening you. Hmm. 
okay didn't get any messages but the bottom of the deck is the moon card feels like yeah. secrets you might be going I feel like you are just going into yourself getting answers using water divination and therapy to heal to find guidance within yourself oh my god the two of cups twin flame union soulmates there's a lot coming in for you let me tell you that all right there's a believe in it I feel like the love that you've always dreamed for believe that it is coming it is possible amen the birds agree yeah man i feel like the love that you've always wanted is coming through keep visualizing keep and if you already have this let me know like is it your twin flame it's saying that this person is your twin flame your your love Ten of Cups, Ten Card, and Strength. Any other messages? Thank you. Okay. And Temperance here, Balance. So there will be equal give and take in your relationship in the way you live your life. <sighs> so this love. I feel like it is just it will bring balance to your life maybe you keep this person grounded I feel like it will be like a balance unto earth in itself like your love will bless earth it will help to bring balance to change the way people think of love even bring some kind of a balance to the narrative of love maybe you're you're doing something brand new you're out here on the leading edge with your partner Temperance card, balance, rejuvenation, prosperity, success. The sun is in this card. Can so you may have a garden that you like to go out and bask in. That's beautiful. It's amazing for you. It helps to connect you or keeps you aligned with your spiritual nature, which is very important for you. And that's why I feel like you're really creating balance on earth because you have this divine love in yourself that causes you to attract the twin flame energy, the two of cups, someone coming in with an offer of love or healing, the knight of cups, receiving this love, the six of cups, and then being strengthened, being brave, courageous to really step out. Maybe it's the strength that you've always wanted to move. You're getting a gift that will allow you to transfer or to transmute energies. You may be physically moving so that you can move into this new life. You may be learning something new, learning something may be coming to light, a message that may help you to heal or to move forward, coming into light in your surroundings. Hmm. Something coming out, it's like peeling away that layer. Hmm. And this thing is, it feels like it shed something off of you. You're no longer confused about moving on. Cancer, look forward to blessings, your home life. I know you love your home, your children, cooking, taking care of your family. That big, beautiful piece of land. Yes, that your children can run on your money, your sense of value, your strength, using your spiritual gifts also being strong in your nature these are the messages that i want to leave you with what i'm getting here really remember to be strong in who you are as a cancerian be confident work on yourself water is important hydrate your temple blend smoothies do things that make you happy i just envisioned somebody blending a smoothie and they went to watch some comedy and laughing do stuff like that that makes your body move act vibrate with love i love you cancerian thank you so much for coming through i always enjoy doing your reading so if you want to see more readings like this do consider liking this video 
and subscribing as a way of showing your support. Take care and as always, much love to you. Next time, bye.